Good afternoon guys and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts Union Cross video. First of all, I will apologize if I'm gonna yawn because I just woke up. So, um, let's go ahead and talk about what we got for today, and, well, for tomorrow's content. So, in this case, again, we still have the banner, nothing else, nothing cool, just that we got the Vanitas and one's poop for the, for the VIP. We got a Roxas HD version, I already um, let you know guys that he is a very cool PvE medal. PvP is not gonna be so reliable because on PvP, he does have a supernova um, defense pierce, but it's for a 50%, so it's not so reliable for PvP. Then we got a paper butterfly that have a drop luck for six. Um, drop luck for six. Then we have attack boost. Um, I think this one, those two uh, abilities are attack boost 14 max. I think engage zero. That's 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 the case for the for the skills now. We got a rainbow gem for one. Material quest and of course we got the. <laughs> You know, we got the trade um, situation that you can go ahead and trade whatever you want for 100 jewels for each one of them with no limit. Now we are going for this one. So in this case, we got the Supernova Plus Plus Illustrated Ansem. Now this one is kind of a little bit um, uh, like the Stained Glass number 14. Now we're able to get either one of those three medals within the next five pools, being the Stained Glass number 10. Stained Glass number um, 11 and the Illustrated Anson. <coughs> so, for people who are actually like a little bit interested about what is Stained Glass number 10 and 11, it's actually Snow White and um, Cinderella. That in this case, Cinderella just provides like a critical chance, and um, and Snow White actually provides like defense peers on the supernova ability, but nothing cool. And the illustrated anthem, we're just gonna talk about it. Increase all attack metal for 2k, copies the ability for the next following metal with a 30% critical chance. Fails if there is nothing to copy. The supernova ability will provide power metal attack for 12k, reverse general power attack for 50, and skill damage for 320. Decrease the enemy's reverse the general power defense minus 15. Doesn't affect counters and activates before the first slot in PvP. Um, <laughs> the only cool thing that we got here is that they actually provide like 20 VIP um, coins. And the matter of fact that you are able to get Ansem into the next 5 pulls. Just remember what was the critical, um, you know, the percentage chances to get this guy. It was uh, kind of a little bit hard. I think it was like around the... Uh, what was it? The fifty percent, the fifty percent chance, maybe, because those two metals have like a forty, uh, like a thirty-five percent, uh, like a forty percent chance or forty-five percent chance that you can be able to get him. But the answer was, the, well, the the cynical number fourteen was very low in in percentage, in, you know, in in percentage um, chances. So you, you have to be careful with this banner. Then we got um, the Supernova Plus Plus Remy for a limited VIP board. From the 11th from the 24th, there are three Remy ports in total, which the last one offering the medal with um with the super you know with a boosted uh, yeah I think it's called boosted um oh yeah the boosted medal. So let's talk about Remy. Remy increase all middle attack for 10k upright general power speed magic attack for 10 power speed magic defense um, plus 10 and kill damage for 220 restores 5 HP. Large um, HP recovery, raise counter for 3, removes a status, elements, and inflicts 1 hit. Um, supernova ability for 1 turn, increase all metal attack for 10k. Upright general power attack for um, power speed magic attack for 10. General power speed magic defense plus 10. And deal damage for 320. Does that affect counters and activates before the first slot in PvP. Now I'll go ahead and talk about this guy. He is very good. He's a very good buffer and tanky metal. He is a very good battle, but the matter of fact that you're not able to get him into a banner, you just pull, you pull, you pull, and if you actually get the enough, um, you know, VIP coins and able to get Remy, then there you go, there's your medal. So, well, if you're pulling a lot and you want to get the Remy, you won't have any kind of problems with this one. Now let's talk about the new avatar ports. We got Kingdom Hearts 2 Cypher, Ra, and Fu are available for 2.5k of each one of them. Each port comes with a different bonus, so check them out. To be honest, I really love those ones. Um, if you don't, if you don't know who was the Cipher Gang, he is actually from Final Fantasy VIII. 
Um, this one was like the the one who actually was the leader and I'm gonna dominate it all and those two were just their companions Who was I think Fu didn't talk so much and Rai was just a companion with um, um, Cypher until so one point Cypher was actually getting like a lot of beat ups from Leon because I think that he encountered him like three times and In this case Cypher was just like hey, you know what? I, I, I'm actually being crazy to try to defeat Leon and then those two guys were just like, that's enough, you're actually making yourself, um, you know, um, you're actually hurting yourself, I don't know why you're doing this, I hurt, I'm actually hurting myself by seeing that you're actually in pain, and Cypher didn't just actually listen to them, it, it, but you know, it, it, it wasn't his fault, it, he was actually uh, manipulated by the power of Ultimatia, and fun fact, he was the only one who defeated Odin, by using his Satsuken counter attack, so yeah, that's kind of impressive. He, he, you know, Odin is like a, is like a summoning uh, powerful creature, and Satsuken is just a one kill, uh, one hit KO, and pretty much Cipher just counter attack him, and pretty much he kill Odin. But if it wasn't for him, he wouldn't actually summon Gilgamesh. That Gilgamesh just finished the job. Yeah, I, I actually played Final Fantasy VIII, so that's why I actually remember him. Well, enough about this guy, but in this case, these avatar boards are just amazing. So, I wouldn't tell about the avatar boards, but as, fun, as long as I know, attack boosts are just kind of a little bit low. But I wouldn't know. I will have to go ahead and check those avatar boards. But they're very cool. Final Fantasy VIII characters are just, like, very amazing. So, if you want to pull them, there you go. 2.5k of jewels. Um... Now let's go ahead and talk about the pa uh, the party looks ranking. They offer up to 3k of jewels, a windmill accessory, and the solo rankings will offer the following. The new metal called the Supernova++ Plus Plus Komori Bad Melody of Memory. Top 100 to receive the medal with a boosted status. Trade medals, power speed, magic gem for 30, and beautiful gem for 1. So that's very cool. Um, the Komori Bad for 2 turns, increased speed metal attack for 6k, and kill damage for 220. Decrease the enemy's upright general speed defense minus 15. Increase the, the increased, um, sorry, inflicts 3 hits that have a 30% chance of pierce the guard, pen, um, you know, the pierce guard. Um, and then the Supernova Lady for 3 turns, increased speed metal attack for 2k, for 1 turn, increase upright general um, speed attack for 15, and kill damage for 320. And activates before the first slot in PvP. I can say that this medal is for free, so no worries. I can't say that it's bad because, you know, the status and all that stuff, it, it is bad. But it's a free medal, so you don't have to pull for anything. That's really cool. Then we got the Organization 13 Union Cross will be held from the 1st, I'm um, sorry, for the 11th of January. Defeat Semnus to get cross coins and one beautiful gem. That's very cool. Raid Event is updated from the 11th to the 17th. Defeat the, um, the Trident Uncharted Subspecies to earn um, coins and get the, ha uh, the Hanya Mask. That it will provide a critical leg per 5 and jewels. Um, so as long as you see this board is that you'll be able to, um, you know, to to play this to play this um what's it called this ray boss without any 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 kind of restrictions. So I think that it only costs you five um what's it called AP. Yeah, it will cost you five AP for each um for each encounter. And pretty much in this case, um well the same um times where you can go ahead and have the Lux plus plus. You won't actually have any restrictions of AP, so that's the case. Now we have to vanquish the upright warlock from the 11th from the 24th. Clear the challenge to get sun, mood, sword gems. Subslot medals, avatar coins, and strengthen medals. I can say guys, the quests are being much harder than I expected. Now from 5k of, of level of the, of the heartless, we're actually getting around 6.5k and even 7k. And those two are absolutely so powerful. So be careful guys. I know that everybody will say, well, we're actually getting updated medals. We're actually um, leveling up our keyblades. I understand why it's actually being hard, but be careful guys. Then get the avatar coins by completing the challenges of the daily element from the 11th from the 17th. Get sword gems by completing an exclusive mission from the 11th from the 17th. Now let's go with Dark Road. In Dark Road, there's nothing else that they are providing us. There's only a new ticket draw is available from the 11th to the 24th. Get five cards with two guarantee win attribute cards. So, in this case, um, I check in the Kingdom Hearts Insider. So, in Insider, they're letting you know that you'll be able to get any kind of medals, two, um, sorry, two um, cards that it provides um, when elemental attributes. So, in this case, you're not, you're actually guaranteed from the powerful one to the most, um, 
you know, to the most weakest one. So that's that's the case. Um, so well, there's nothing else. And then there's a new free battle. It's available from Wonderland from the 11th and the 24th. Defeat the um, Johnny Brilliant Opera and get the new Thunderbell accessory from the mission board. Use the new accessories and materials from the Suncraft to um, to craft those items. Thunderbelt, uh, available from a mission board. Thundaga Belt can be crafted from five Thunderbelts and Thundaga Belt can be crafted from one Thundaga Belt and one Mithril metal, uh, materials. So, that is it for today's video. Let's go ahead and make a quick recap. So, VIP sustain the same. Getting the H, um, the Supernova Plus Plus Roxas HD version, Paper Butterflies, Attack Boost 14 Max and Lux Plus Plus for to, um, I'm sorry, attack boost 14 max and gauge to, um, zero, I'm sorry, that you're able to get two material quests, very amazing, um, rainbow gem for one, material quest, you'll be able to trade whatever with 100 jewels for each one of them with no limit, um, the supernova plus plus illustrated anthem being a copycat medal for critical chance, but keep, be careful because he's not actually a mercy pull, you're guaranteed to get either one of those medals within the next five pulls, being the standing glass number 10, 11, and of course the Anthem Illustrated version, that in this case we got Cinderella and Snow White. I can't say that those two medals are just um, powerful, but they're just there for a reason. Then we got the Remy medal that you can get from the VIP coins. Just pull, pull, pull and you'll be able to get the VIP, point, uh, the VIP coins. And of course you'll be able to get the Remy from the 11th from the 24th. Then we got the Kingdom Hearts 2 Cypher Ra and full Avatar boards. Um, they cost 2.5k of jewels for each one of them. I will have to check if the um, you know if the skills are actually worth it or not because I think that those banners um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I think that those two avatar board uh, those avatar boards has been released but I haven't checked it so I will have to check that tomorrow. Um, we got party looks rankings up to 3k of jewels. We're getting the windmill accessory and the Komori bat from Melody of Memories. Um, defeat the organization 13. Then you need to defeat Semnes and you'll be able to get crown coins and one beautiful gem. Um, we got the raid um, avatar, you know, we got the raid event that in this case you need to go ahead and defeat this guy and you'll be able to get the Hanya mask. Then vanquish the upright warlock, you'll be able to get sun moon, um, sword gems, subplot medals, avatar coins, instrument medals, and just defeat this thing so you'll be able to get avatar coins. For dark road, we only have a new banner that in this case you guarantee two win attribute cards that being five cards. And pretty much you just need, need to go ahead and defeat the, the, you know, the mission board. You'll be able to get the Thunder Belt, Thundaga Belt, and Thun, uh, sorry, Thundara and Thundaga Belt. That in this case is just an accessory. Well, that is all. So I think that we don't have anything crazy for tomorrow, but at least we're getting a lot of content. So for VIP users, you'll be able to get the Roxas. Uh, like I mentioned, a very good PV PvE medal. And just be careful with this banner. I think that the only thing that you'll be able to pull for this banner is just for the VIP coins. So you'll be able to get the Remy. But in this case, um, you know, um, if you're telling me if this is a crazy medal, well, I can say more or less. I can just say that because he, he is a copycat medal. So copycat medals are very useful for any usage. But just remember, we have the Axel. Um, and I think for that, for the next, you know, for the next, um, uh, what was it called? Oh yeah, for the next uh, medal, yeah, it's actually, <sighs> oh my god, I just yawned for the first time. <laughs> okay, um, he is very good, I can say you that, but you know, he doesn't provide any kind of defense peers for PvP, so don't spec anything crazy for PvP, but for PvE, I just can say that he is a very good medal. Well, that is all. Hope that you enjoyed the rest of your Sunday. May your hearts be your guiding key, and I'll see you guys into the next video. Peace, guys.